Right, part two, tripod. Um, all these files, I'm pretty sure I'm going to list the Thunder Child and the tripod in the same down, you know, purchasable, purchasable thing. I don't think I'll separate them, so I think it's a, it's a team effort. Um, the laser, or the heat ray, I'm just going to take that out is an optional because you got the heat ray there that you can run it as a standalone. So I'm gonna be might be fiddly with the one high and there you go. So you can display it just like that if you'd like or you can add the heat ray and the file is actually gonna be a one that's full length and that's added without the ship. So you can actually heat ray anything you bloody well like, really. Um, there's some uh, honeycomb on the lens, which is, if you get the kit, you get it. But if you look around, you go to a sewing store or whatever, find a material that's sort of a honeycomb. Uh, the eyes have grooves. Uh, that's here and here. Um, I'll actually show you how that is. So if you just give me a moment. Okay, just give me a second. Are we always? Where are we? Yeah, so the eyes have a groove. And here and here. So the idea is, once you put the honeycomb over that, I'll get like a bit of uh, nylon fishing line, and it hooks in to there. And then when that goes on, as I'm going to do this quickly, say, so, and then it just pulls it tight. And then a hook under there, and then you have to do is just dab your dab your little bit of super glue on each corner and let it go. And then literally you can you can just pull, pull and push and prod until it gets uh, it sits nicely. But that's to make it go around the eyeball. So it's uh, yeah, it's an optional actually, you don't need to do it. But the kit will have it all. And uh, diffuser. And the diffuser sits behind the eye, so if we go over here, try to try to put it all right, so you'll have the eye, or the head, just stick it in there, now I'd, uh, if you do the mesh, you do it all, I'd put some hot glue and stick it in there, and that'll literally give you your eyes, all right. Now the diffuser. And this knife just got this from another two dollar store, you know, just a translucent piece of green, and that sits in behind like that. And then that just magnetises to that. So. The diffuser actually gives the eyes a, quite a nice, sort of a deeper, richer green. Like, you could run a green light in there, but I'm running a clear light, so the red goes red, and the green goes green. Um, which is funny, because I, th I can run a red light for Thunder Child. Right, but anywho, these lights are pretty, pretty cool. I like them. Definitely work. There you go. Um, now, if you don't, oh, these are the lights here. They're uh, submersible lights off AliExpress and stuff. Very cool. Remote control. Uh, I've got three, three in the head. 
and one down there. So if you buy a kit, just get the one with four of them, four of them. And uh, what I've done is I've I've just stuck one in there, one on that side, just with a bit of tape, and then one on the other side. And then uh, in Thunderchild, I've got one that sits in the back here. And just jam it in there. And then um, if I jam it too far, it sweeps a bit of pliers, gets that little ridge there, and it just comes out real easy. And you just set that to red. And then they'll illuminate the whole, the whole boat, which is cool as shit. Alright, so what have we got? We've got the magnetised head, eyes. Uh, magnets are in the feet as well, so the feet have screws in them. Um, the resin files have got the holes in there and so do the FDN, if you wanted to do FDN printing. Got magnets at the base. go there and the cool thing about that is if you build it and it's actually slightly lopsided it won't it won't matter how it sits it's always gonna it's always gonna sit good on the feet which is super handy uh, everything here is uh, resin except for the base which is FDM um, Feet, uh, because of limitations and strength wise, uh, I would, well I have chosen to do it in three pieces and because the resin printer is only, has a certain height and I want it at, uh, what is it, 570 millimetres tall, done in three pieces, numbered, so I've got one, two, pretty sure I've three, so that'd be four, five, six, and that'll be seven. So that the back legs are actually taller, slightly taller than the, the other two. So, but the numbers, well, it's easy to glue them together. Uh, orientation wise is quite important, I'll get to that in a sec, but uh, keys per one, just to give it slightly a bit of strength. Uh, I just use a Tupac epoxy on it and then on my one I just put a bit of resin around it and then UV light and then a bit of sanding and um, they come up pretty pretty easy pretty nice you know like they sand real simple with the, the resin as long as you wear a mask um, now if you're going to build it and you want to be screen accurate or album accurate uh, Always have the two facing out, two facing out, and the back legs. You got the two coming this way. As in, when I say two, you look at the back. There's only one, one. So you really want to always face them. So each leg is different than the other because they're two reversed. The back one is different again. So yeah. Anywho. Um, your top legs they're all the same size but again album cover will dictate that 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 bottom bit there faces down so that's going to be your key plus there's a hole at the very top there and that's the slip in your wire which are just speaker cables cut about 60 mils long and then they're just inserted however you like um, now if you look at the uh, the original drawings it does say that the back is open and that's referring to that so that is open uh, it also states that in the original things that they are all ball joints so they are all ball joints uh, the top lid 
comes off. Uh, I did that because if you decide to run a switch in there to have an on-off switch, you could. So I you know, take that out. Look in there. I'm just going to create some light. It is a stand for a switch or a button, whatever how you like it. And that's what that is. And that will sit in there and I'll, I'll just epoxy it in there. And then that allows, that allows you to turn it on and off, whichever way you like. It's an option. If you use the other lights, the remote control, you don't have to. You can always just stay together because the head will just pop off if you want it to. Right, so that's speaker cables. Now these are the side details that are on the album cover. And in the kit, they act as two things and they sort of sit in here. And uh, what, that, what it does do, you got one there and one there. And that creates a channel, so when you insert your head, like in there, it, it centers it, and it will just clip together real nicely. Um, there is like a, a block in the file that sits in there, and then that ties it all together better, but I found it's easier not to use it, use those as a guide, and the magnets do the rest, and it just clicks together. Um, now I print everything that mates together like that on the resin bed and that guarantees it's going to be straight. What it does do on my ones and I didn't calibrate it because I just sand it, it'll give you a bit of an elephant's foot and that's why all these are um, sanded around the edges because it does get rid of that but these are all printed like that. Same as same as this one. It's simple handed, so much fun. Okay. So this also is printed like that. And the supports obviously through here. But if you, in the files, there are Chitsu files for my printer, which is a, a Algu 8K. Um, so if it fits your bed, I don't know how it works, but I'll put my files are on there anyway. But if you do it yourself, watch where you put your supports, because you don't want your supports to go down to the base and then the... Uh, the, what do you call it, the raft, will actually embed itself into the print itself because it's hard against the bed. You could elevate it and then sand it smooth so it makes better. I just found it was easy to guarantee it was, was going to go together. But all you've got to do is, when you do your first supports, just put them back slightly, drop them down, check if it doesn't hit it, and if it doesn't, then just go hard. And again, that's... That's what everything you do. These, they tell you. You'll see all these little bits of squares, but they printed unsupported. So I wouldn't go ham and start supporting everything. Just the ones you do, because everything you support, if it goes onto the bed, you got to make sure it doesn't go into the model, because that it's just nasty. All right. Uh, second thing too is if you don't use my files, what you want to do is put little pinholes in. I've got, I've got them in here as well. Uh, and on this one, I'd put them inside the, inside the chain on both sides. And I'd even sneak one in around here because what happens is if you stick it on the base and you print it, the thing will suction cup enough that it will draw resin and fill half the thing up with resin when it's finished and then you have to dump it. I'll plus put a hole in here and down there. Um, these are the first two versions. 
and there was a, some sort of fault and it created hollow, uh, solid the ones that you yeah, download if you purchase them are going to be are going to be uh, hollowed out so you can run a, a light source through there if you choose to do which I might do as well um, they are cross braces again the, the back one is the large one because I you're supposed to, they're supposed to be the same size, but the um, where I placed the leg originally, I never changed it, so I just lengthened the rod. So that is what it is, right? Uh, shoulders. They used to be in three pieces of made them all together now. Uh, you get your heat ray. Oh, your tongue. So. And it shoots out like a sensor and stuff. So. All I've done is I've created this and then I've got a hole in there and I've added a cup of wire. It comes up and it's like an extended thing that shoots out the, the front of it. Um, um, this one here, a little flexi pipe looking thing, so I use that but I've printed it. So all of these are the same, it's like that's printed and these are like copper wire same as the back one that's printed and then this is just a copper wire all the aerials real simple got some here so they'll sit in there there's a hole at the end there for the copper wire to sit into real simple so the other one there those three uh, now these are clear red resin as well, but I wouldn't polish them or make them clear, keep them diffused. The light goes through it a lot better. Uh, the first ones I did, um, I made them clear and uh, yeah, I think these one looks better, look better. You just print it, wash it, and it's naturally opaque um, and just keep it that way. Don't, don't think you should put a clear coat over it, way better mat uh, right pretty sure that's about it pretty sure but yeah so that's the red lights way better mat right that's it cool bananas cheers